In previous videos, we saw how authentication is configured for custom connectors, but in order to avoid having to manually reauthorize connections, our connector needs a way to check the health of the connection. For this, Connector Builder can make use of an auth ping flow. This is a system flow and must be named underscore auth ping. In addition to the special name, the flow must also start with an auth ping event card. Here we see an auth ping flow that has already been configured. Let's take a walk through to see how this works. First, we see the auth ping event card, which provides the connection object. Note the connection object will be based on the authentication configuration for the connector. In this case, we see client ID and client secret since we've configured this connector with the OAuth 2.0 auth type. We also have the URL parameter we added in the authentication configuration. At the end of our flow, we have a return status card that returns two items, a Boolean value indicating whether or not the connection is working, and an object that contains the response from the auth ping test. In order to generate these values, we will need to send a test request to the resource our connector is configured against. We've already built out a helper flow that knows how to communicate with the resource, so we can call that flow from here. But we'll want to make sure we catch any errors in case there's an issue with the connection. For this, we'll add an if error card. In the try block of the if error card, we have the call flow card, which calls our HTTP helper flow. This card requires some input. For the relative URL, we'll want to make sure we're calling an API that's quick and lightweight. Since this is just to test the connection's health, we don't want any API call that will take a long time to run or return a lot of data. In this case, we see we're calling the slash request types API service. The request method is set to get, and I've provided a query object that will limit my call to return just one object. All of these are just examples, and each resource you're calling will have their own values. Next, we can see we're passing in the connection object from our auth ping event card. And last, we're retrieving the status code, headers, and body from the output. Since this is in the try block, we're assuming this is successful. So we've added an assign card with a message indicating the call was successful. In the if error block, we can see some of the data that is returned with the error. Note we've manually added the status code field. Now, if we click on the view outputs in the if error card, we can see we've added two fields, status code, which contains the status code from either the try block or the if error block, and message, which contains the message value from either block. Next, we have a true-false compare card. This is used to determine if the status code generated in the if error card was successful or not. Typically, a successful HTTP call would return a status code of 200. After this, we see an object construct card. This will build out an object containing the status code and the message from the if error card. Now all we have to do is drag the output from the compare card to the working Boolean field on the return status card, and the object from the construct card to the service response field. Once the flow is turned on and saved, the connector can use this to ensure any connections are healthy and valid. 